This is my ultralight system. It's uh, an EDC everyday carry and uh, it's a minimalist bit of kit. So I've got only the bare essentials in um, and all I need is something to sleep in, something to sleep on, something to sleep under. And I've got all that in this kit here and we're in the middle of a heat wave if you don't know how to keep cool in the heat wave there's some tricks and uh, I'll tell you what they are now so uh, staying cool in the heat wave, it's not easy. First thing, stop moving about, find a lot of shade, a lot of shelter, and sit still. Don't exhaust your energy. Uh, wear light coloured clothes, not dark. Uh, if you start burning, keep yourself covered up. If you can't find uh, suntan lotion or anything, uh, You'll need mud, wet mud. At least put it on your arms, wet mud. Mix it together and it'll create a barrier. Uh, water is your next thing. Now you need to hydrate yourself a lot. And um, another thing you can do if you found running water, dip your wrists in the water along with your feet. Now these points, your wrists and the soles of your feet, they're the... Um, elements of your body which are going to cool the rest of your body down it's like when you dip your elbow in hot water for your, for your baby it, it's that's the most sensitive part well with uh, with heat it's also your wrists and the soles of your feet cool them right down and another great trick get your t-shirt off dip it in the stream wring it out put it back on same with your hat you know dip it in the stream, get it wet, put it back on, along with your t-shirt. And if you've got the luxury of um, carrying anything else in your pack, I carry something called deep freeze. It's like uh, deep heat, you know, that you put on your bad back. It's in a, an aerosol can. And what I do is I put that on my uh, wrists and uh, on my forehead as well, cool myself right down. Mind you don't get it in your eyes. Yeah. Surviving the heat wave. That's me cooled down, 32 degrees Celsius, it's nothing worse, but you know, I followed all the rules, 
I've cooled down by the nearest water source I could find. So now I'm going to take my EDC out, uh, show you what I've got in that, and put that up. Go on, let's get some shelter before we cook. Come on. Try to uh, walk as far as I can away from the main road. But it's such a hot, clammy day today. It, the sound is carrying, so you'll have to forgive me on that. Um, this is a place with lots of dog walkers as well. It's going to be hard getting any kind of privacy. Um, there's an old marsh field here, which uh, seems to suit my purposes. And, uh, I'll show you the EDC, the everyday carry. It's um, mine's in the ten litre Molly. <sighs> uh, try and get a clean bit. It's hard to do in the sheep field. Um, now have a look at this, this is the back where the shoulder strap is, I've got gloves velcroed in there, this is a very sturdy back protector and uh, there, a ground cloth and uh, I've seen plenty of these blowing about in fields so there's not going to be a shortage of making emergency shelter around here okay let's uh, get my pack on it and we'll have a look at the actual molly itself uh, it's based on the US molly um, but, but this is only 10 litres but it doesn't sound a lot but I've, I've managed to get everything I want for an ultra lightweight uh, camping system uh, if you like going lightweight you know you're gonna love this pack um, okay let's have a look it's the Ality sorry it's the Molly style it's got all the uh, webbing loops it's got loads of webbing loops on the front here and I've just tied on my uh, water canteen there and at the bottom is a three-quarter length air mat so three-quarter length air mat uh, my drink canteen and I'll show you some of the actual molly itself um, it's got a zippered compartment on the top there horse flies are absolutely killing me uh, and inside there to put that down you'll see that that's my water system water fil filtration unit okay that's come from this top pocket external there's another external pocket here uh, where the water is and if you look in here I've got just a, a few rations uh, you know enough to get me going through the day there's plenty there uh, if I do get stuck out tonight, I've got my porridge oats, got some sort of um, noodles there, can even flavour it up with a rice or um, a soup. Um, a couple of these drinking chocolates, I go mad for them, you should know that by now. And uh, all that's come from in here, and there's three elasticated. Uh, webbing loops in there on the inside on both sides one two three four five six elasticated webbing loops and a pocket and in the pocket I've got a mini Gerber knife and evidently a knife fork and spoon all in one type uh, Okay, so there's that. Like I said, I've got a, a quart of water. 
I'm here. This is tied on with uh, spare boot laces. So let's have a go at this. That is a three quarter length air mattress. It'll go from the back of my neck down to under my knees. Okay, using the main compartment now, I have a Sol uh, Escape Bivy. Um, I'll give you a demo of that probably now, I think, in the field earlier this afternoon. Okay, this is the uh, the one litre. One litre? What am I talking about? Okay, this is the Sol Escape Bivy. And uh, I haven't really given this a chance before. So. I'm going to show you me getting in. Oh, shoes and all. In I go. Zip on the right. And... Uh, is it hooded? Yes, it's hooded. Now they say the escape bivy is good to down to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's 10 degrees Celsius in uh, British money there. So it's plenty good enough and they reckon you can go lower than that if you dress a bit, a bit more warm than I have. But um, it, 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 it is an escape bivy, that's all it is. And it's not a one use thing, this. Uh, like I said, I had the other Mylar one, fell apart, chucked it. But this I've had a while. I haven't used it out in the field. But uh, it's always handy to keep because it rolls up into nothing at all. Um, and it's and some, some providing and considering its size it offers not bad you know insulation at all and uh, I can't remember how much it was you'd have to go on the websites and have a look um, the zip is accessible from the inside and the outside And it takes just seconds to roll away into a bag that you saw will fit in the palm of my hand. Okay, and that was the Sol Escape Bivy. And in this uh, old tin I'm going to use as my billy tin, I have a couple of transiers fueled up, ready to go, a billy tin. Um, well, I don't think I'm going to get much more in this pack other than, there you go, uh, a basher. So I've got a basher, something to sleep under something to sleep in something to sleep on now they're they're my three things i always say you're ever gonna need no matter how you do it tent hammock um a bivy you're gonna need something to sleep on something to sleep in something to sleep under so that, that that's my setup anyway for the ultralight camp um if you come into the main compartment of the bag itself You'd see here is a zippered section here. Now this holds your wallet nicely. Uh, it's quite big for 10 litres, you know. It's another Velcroed pocket on the other side here. 
and that's the main compartment so if you've got uh, if you've got maps anything of that nature pop them in that um, like I said on the back pair of gloves for work so all of that fits in to this molly here 10 litres that's everything it'll hold and it'll hold more it's all I need there's other compartments I didn't fill in this by the way okay she's up and uh, just tied off to a couple of trees and I've done it in a where I've tied on to a fence I've only brought it down halfway and the other half makes a ground sheet one half here makes my uh, wind protection for the night this is just a bit of a ground sheet and I get right in and under there so uh, let's give myself a little bit of comfort before the farmer gets here I really want to set this up before that so that this now is uh, the uh, three quarter length air mattress anything I'm not using like uh, spare pegs something I put back into the molly Now, I'm going to inflate, self-inflate air mattress there. Now, if I leave this out in the sun, it'll inflate even quicker. So I'm going to give that a few minutes while I get settled in. I want to try and get a brew on, or at least a hot chocolate or a soup or something, because I haven't tried out this uh, new billy tin of mine yet. Uh, don't know even if it's going to work. Uh, I hope it hasn't got any holes in. Um, I've also got my escape bivy ready to go there. There's webbing loops absolutely everywhere. And I plan on taking full advantage of them all over time. But for now, this is all I need for a quick camp. Uh, by the way, I've already sourced some water uh, where you saw me uh, cooling off. And by the way, that was, what, a couple of hours ago now. And as you can see, I'm fully dried out, but I'm, I'm really cool now. I found some good shade and uh, I'm gonna make my own shade. Oh, this is inflated already. A Couple of extra. just because I like it a little firmer but that's plenty and my escape bivvy it's a glorified sleeping bag I want to be ready for a quick getaway if I need to so I'm going to start packing everything I'm not using back in into my pack. Uh, for now, I'll just shove this in as well. The sooner I get in here, the uh, better it's going to be for me. Um, usually, I wouldn't have my basher set up like this. Um, you know, in half to the fence and one as a ground sheet but uh, I just fancied having the ground sheet today and I'm sure if I unpegged it I could pull it over like a blanket but there's no need I've got the Sol Escape bivy uh, it's not bad 
it's not bad. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to keep this configuration like this tonight. It's got plenty of of insulating value putting it out like this, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to see um, if I have it stretched out any further. It's going to start looking uh, quite conspicuous, but for a low down bit of stealth. And the nighttime temperature tonight is going to be 14 degrees and I was uh, out, when was it, last week and it was 14 degrees and I didn't sleep that night, it's too hot. And, uh, but it's cooled down a bit now, so I'm hoping it's going to be a cooler night. Got quite a, a breeze coming through uh, your way there. Uh, this is a summer setup, by the way. It's a, a summer EDC. It's a summer setup. Uh, you won't be taking this out in the winter. Oof. Anyway, oh. Oh. I'm quite happy here. Really am. Uh, this is really basic. Uh, it, it's bivy tarp. A little ground mat, three quarter length, um, straight on top of my uh, basher, so uh, I use it as a ground sheet. Okay, I'm uh, just about ready to get the real one. Um, we're not the only people here, a couple of guys pass this way with a couple of lurches and uh, yeah, this place is full of rabbits so I shouldn't have expected I'd ever be on my own here but there's his van but you know it's the first time I've ever been caught stealth camping um, this, this is the last place I'd have expected anyone to be but you know it seem pleasant enough so here we go uh, I've got some tent pegs in the ground here and a billy in the water and as long as that stays on there I'm laughing like that fire this transier up underneath there and there uh, see how that goes it doesn't look overly secure to me this give it a go and the trouble is Pink one. Let's see uh, dinner on. Um, as you can tell, I've got a homemade windscreen, some logs. Like I said, I have gone lightweight this time. There's a good bit of flame coming out of the Trangia this time. It won't be long before I've got myself a nice brew there. And then I can have a coffee. Or I'll just have uh, some hot chocolate in that. I'll take that with me. Um, have it on the go. Um, I'm not losing the daylight just yet. But... Uh, I want to be better prepared than I am. Let's see if there's any bubbles coming. Oh, there is. Look at that. Just found that, you know. Well, not. Just found. Uh, found it a while ago and it fits the Trangiers absolutely perfectly. So you're looking for that brand of coffee there. If you can't make that out, I'll try and put a link in. The description box, or I'll write it in the description box because finding uh, Billy Tins that fit the Trangiers is hard work to find. I know, I've tried. So I've been lucky with that. Is that ready? Woohoo, bubbles, look at that. And uh, the two gentlemen over there with the lurchers. Um, I think they're coursing 
using the, the lurchers for rabbiting and um, at one time it used to be a noble sport it's frowned upon I think nowadays but with any luck um, they might come back and offer me a rabbit for dinner because I am bloody starving I haven't bought my purse nets out I've got them um, freeze dried food but um, I've just noticed over here beautiful nettles there everything else I've seen is as good as dead like them so I'm looking for new growth of nettles I can either have nettle tea boil the nettles up and eat them and what I want to do is I'm going to start collecting some snails and putting them in boxes uh, around coming back to them every three days and uh, getting food Net nettles and snails I've decided is going to be my uh, bug out uh, staple that's going to be my three course meal every day uh, I know what I'm looking for there you can't mistake snails and uh, nettles that's just about coming to a boil give that a couple more minutes yeah so uh, I'm gonna keep my choice of what I eat you know pretty simple I, I am learning about wild edibles I have the handbook uh, that I'm learning and uh, I will try a lot of different varieties of say food um, but I mean everyone knows what a snail looks like everyone knows what nettles look like Do you know, I'm not going to have it too hot otherwise I'm going to burn my mouth trying to drink it out of that tin um, Right, so let's crack uh, on this That's what I'm having to my windbreak. Oh, don't blow away. Get in there. That's the uh, most annoying habit in the world. Listen to this. Why do people do it? Bang, 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 bang. Should be more tolerant, shouldn't I? You can't change an old dog. And the great thing about my billy tin, I can uh, close the lid on it. It's airtight lid, so I'm going to keep things hot in that. When I'm ready to go, clasp on it. No, I can carry it with me. I'm going to put some uh, 
paracord round this so I can use it like a hand, hanging handle, I think. Uh, put some off shoots, off cuts of paracord here. Give me a second. There's the little Billy with the handle. Could uh, support water in that. That tied to a twig over a fire at the bottom here. And, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay. Um, I'll show you my next bearing. I moved to. There's a grass bit. Where's my finger? Here. Yeah. Right in that little hollow of that mountain. And um, that's where I'm heading next. But first, a brew. Actually, this brew's coming with me. Every time I move from one location to the other, it always feels like I've forgotten something. It's a, it's a bad feeling. I don't think I have. I've looked around. Didn't use much. I haven't got much. Um, okay, well, you've seen where I'm heading. Out over there. Um, we've been there before on other episodes, uh, but I like it up there. This is very flat here because I'm right near the coast. This would be good for pitching the tent and uh, ordering a decent sized solo tent. And I'm going to do an overnighter in it, yeah, talk you through the pitching process and what have you so we'll do an overnighter in that coming up soon and um, I've got a couple more ways oh excuse me <coughs> oh good god so I've got a couple more ways also of making a hammock under blanket without the need for a top blanket that's my uh bit of a niddle, bit of a bugbear I have with hammocks is uh, you, you technically need two uh, things, you know, an under blanket and an over blanket and I'm not keen uh, not so bad in this weather but uh, so I've got a couple of, a couple of alternatives coming up in other episodes uh, hopefully pretty soon uh, okay get ready for closing title so thanks for joining me on that one and that's how to stay cool in a heat wave uh, and also I've been using my 10 litre molly with my ultra lightweight uh, camp system so uh, until then I'll see you there next time <laughs>